just because we can't travel right now doesn't mean we can't all enjoy the great things Canada has to offer, like wine. Our country produces delicious varieties, and with more on some of our wine-producing regions, certified sommelier Aaron Henderson is joining us this morning. Good morning to you, and cheers. Hello, Amory. You're in your backyard. It looks fantastic. <laughs> This is all the traveling I'm doing for now, Erin. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look, though, as we travel through our wine uh, at the wine-producing provinces. And let's start at the East Coast. Tell me about Nova Scotia's wine region. I'm already going to say you have Benjamin Bridge here, one of my yeah. favorite, favorite wineries. Yeah, Benjamin Bridge certainly is one of the benchmarks that most of the country knows about Nova Scotia. But it's got a fantastic wine region centered around the Annapolis Valley. And, of course, that ocean oceanic influence just makes for beautiful wines. Yeah, so tell us about the one, the first one that we have here. This is like a sparkling rosé. I have pre-sampled it. It's delicious. Oh, yeah, me too. Absolutely. Now, this is actually perfect because it only 7% alcohol from Benjamin Bridge. This is a great brunch wine as well as an all-day sipper. And it gets that pretty pink color because it is from a mixture of muscat and hybrid varietals. So um, it gets that beautiful flavor. It gets that really blossomy, apricotty, honeysuckle note. Uh, beautiful with things like your breakfast right through to your cheese plates in the afternoon. Oh, well, now that I have your permission to have it for breakfast. So that's this one here. This is the Nova 7. Uh, what else do we exactly. have from Nova Scotia? So this is a fantastic winery called Blomenden. And this is, uh, get this, this wine is done in the same way that you would make champagne. It's 100% Chardonnay. It's been aged for five years. And you get all of that beauty for 45 bucks a bottle. So it might be a, a buck more or a, or a dollar less, depending on where you are across the country. But I should mention that all of these wineries are also shipping. So if you're not close to the winery, you can always order it in. But uh, it is a complete departure from what we experienced with the Nova 7. It's crisp, it's bright. I think you're going to find more lemony, green apple notes. Uh, this is definitely your mm -hmm. oyster wine. Yeah, and you know what? This The bubbles in this one, I'm glad that you mentioned the technique of it because the bubbles in this is so good. Perfect for celebration and half the price of what you're going to pay for something from France. Uh, where yeah. are we going to next? Take me traveling. I'm enjoying this trip so far. Isn't this fun? You want to go to the other coast? You want to go over to BC? So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start with, uh, do you want to go white to red? We'll start with the Pinot Gris and we'll go north to south. So of course, British Columbia has mm -hmm. numerous wine regions and I wish we could cover them all, but we can't. We're going to stick in the Okanagan Valley. We're going to start with Grey Monk Winery and a Pinot Gris. Now, mm -hmm. Grey Monk is in the far north, uh, a little bit above Kelowna, if you can picture that. And what's great about Grey Monk is they mm -hmm. really specialize in a lot of uh, really interesting Germanic varietals. Pinot Gris, its native home is in Alsace, which of course is France now, but at one point in time was Germany. But I hope what you're getting is this uh, crisp, bright, fresh, really refreshing um, sort of citrusy note of the wine. Oh yeah, it's so delightful. And then the next one that you have is the red, right? Oh, from, uh, oh yeah, the now this West is Coast? from Black Hill. So we're going all the way south down uh, closer to Oliver, well, yeah, Oliver, uh, sort of that desert region of the Okanagan. And this is kind of your cult winery that people just love. This is called Per Se. So this is what we would know as a, as a blend oh. wine, as a Bordeaux blend wine. It's 75% Cab Franc. And don't tell anybody, but Cab Franc is one of my favorite grapes that Ontario and Canada grows. That's what I do when I get really excited about wine. Uh, and then there's a little bit of Merlot in there as well. <laughs> Show me that again, Erin. When it's super delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, we want to get through. We want to make sure that we get through Ontario for everybody. And I hope to see this again uh, soon coming up. Oh, you will. <laughs> okay, so Ontario, as we know, we have three major wine regions here. Prince Edward County, uh, Lake Erie North Shore, and Niagara. Uh, again, if we could cover them all, we would. But I wanted to go to a couple of boutique wineries located in the Niagara region. And uh, we're going first, let's do the Chardonnay from 2027 Cellars. This was this is a fantastic story. Uh, for years, they were a virtual winery, meaning there wasn't any bricks and mortar. They recently have come up with a bricks and mortar, but only 481 cases of this wine. $23. This is an outstanding value. What? They're also, I know, crazy, right? Like out of control. Uh, they're also shipping across the country and curbside pickup for people in Ontario. And for the red wine, this is a great story as well. This is Back 10 Cellars. This is a boutique winery also located in the Grimsby area of 
uh, or the bench area of Niagara. And this is cool. It's called the Big Leap Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc. Uh, this is called the Big Leap <laughs> because <laughs> the, the couple who started this winery over a decade ago, you know, they put all their money and their investments and resources into it and took the big leap. So we've got this four beautiful I rich love it. red as well. Mm -hmm. This was one of the best vacations I've taken. Really, it's kind of the only vacation I've taken so far this year. Erin <laughs> Henderson, this is lovely. I'm going to sample this because, you know, for me, it's almost lunchtime. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah. Good to see you. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.